Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. We're gonna start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure your speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, I've got another batch of uh, eccentric toys to show you all while I continue to work on boring stuff. So let's jump right into them. The first is a pistol that caught my eye a while back. This is by uh, A2, the same artist who did our absolutely hideous uh, HS-10. This is a bit of a height. I think of it as a space pistol from the uh, 70s. It is the ASP. This is basically like a custom version of, I believe, an SW-39 with just a bunch of, like, really major differences to it uh, and just a really sharp look. We've got this, like, polymer grip that is see-through, so you can actually see how many rounds you have left in it. And we have this, like, yellow gutter sight, um, which is just honestly, like, one of the most interesting... Let's Let's... Reset our target here. Let me pull this up real close so you can see. Yeah, we've got this like angled gutter sight. And so we're, we're probably a little close for at zero right now, but let's give this a shot. Oh, not bad. Very nice. Very nice. Obviously, not that uh, high capacity given, you know, 70s. But uh, just, I don't know, I just, this, this caught my eye. It's just such a slick looking piece. And uh, I think uh, you folks generally know that I'm, I'm, into, I'm into more and more things that just existed before this sort of modern age of like hyper standardization and polymer everything. I will, I'll always be a steel frame pistol kind of guy. Beautiful. Just a beautiful piece. Check out, and as you can see here, as she got that spring and that follower in there. Oh, so glad I added that system a while back. Let's clear that. And uh, yeah, let's yoink, throw these. Goodbye, Asp. Whew. Over there. Next up, I actually had to go back and fix something. A YouTuber, co YouTube commenter pointed out that when I went back and had the 22s all uh, redone, that they were all wrong. <laughs> it turns out my sort of excitement, I hadn't checked measurements, hadn't passed on the correct instructions to Stefan, who is the one who made them. And so basically the 22 short, long, and long rifle rounds that had been replaced didn't have healed bullets. If you're like, what is a healed bullet? As you'll notice there with our 22 LR, the outer diameter of the uh, of the bullet there actually matches the casing. It's not narrower than, than it. It basically has a narrower part that sticks into the case and then it widens to the full length of the case. That's what a healed bullet is. Now the 22 WMR should not be a healed bullet, but those should have been jacketed bullets. And so the WMR cartridge is now also fixed. And to go with them, we've got the last of the two, for now at least, the last two Derringers that are going into the game. We've got this first one here, which in game is nicknamed the Blondie. Look at that weird break action right there. Let's get four rounds in here. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Beautiful. Whew. Let's take our shots. Wonderful. Cute little piece in 22 LR. And then, honestly, this, this one caught my eye a while back. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the HS-22. Just look at that. It's like someone took a Model 95 Derringer and was like, what if we sent it to space? Cool top brake like so. Fires 22 WMR. So has a little more pep than any of the other Derringers its size. Wonderful. Pop that out. It'd be quick to load if I actually loaded it well. Wonderful. Another gorgeous piece. Stefan did such an amazing job on all of these Derringers, and I, of course, am grateful for his patience 
where I was like, hey, I got another one! <laughs> In addition to that, we've got some other uh, improvements, one of which was very, very tedious to do. Um, but any of you know, back when I added the AR-50 bolt action, you may have noticed that the way that the chambering looked on it looked way better uh, than a lot of the other bolt actions in the game. And so, to make that chambering look good on all the other bolt actions, they had to be reconfigured by hand. Um, and so I did that this week. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is that when we actually insert, turn off the safety, a cartridge here, you will now notice that the cartridge now perfectly moves with the bolt face one to one. Pull that back out, boink, like so. So we can load this up completely. Like so. There's no like weird, like there'd be this thing sometimes where you chamber around and it would like chamber it up at the chamber and then you would touch the bolt to move it back forward and the round would warp back. That's all been fixed. And we just have significantly more accurate, smoother motion. Now this does mean that every one of these bolt actions is now basically being animated as though it's a controlled feed. Uh, some bolt actions in real life aren't that. The cartridge can just jiggle around until it goes all the way up into the cartridge. I'm not going to represent that because oh, that would just be... I don't even want to think about it. Um, but we've now just got consistent, higher quality animation for that movement on all bolt actions. And for any modders who are like, how do I do this um, with my bolt actions? Just obviously once I push the next update, load one of these up, take a look at the, it's just a hierarchy change basically, and where a bunch of reference uh, transforms have been placed, no code changes were needed. And then lastly, this has been uh, requested for quite a while, which is to give our vector a little bit of a tune-up in a number of ways. Um, the first one is that the grab point has been futzy for the front of this. Basically it was only located up here. It stunk because half the time you would accidentally grab the bolt handle. So the interaction zone for the bolt handle is now floated entirely off. So if your hand is in the middle there and lined up, you're now no longer going to grab the bolt handle. You grab the four. But you'll also notice by my glowing orb here that the grab for the front of the vector is now this entire front area so you can properly clasp it as you'd expect from the well area here and then the mag grab zone is now purely down here in addition to go with this folks have been like vector draw magazine and so here you go here is a 40 round because this is 45 acp uh kind of clutched together off the glock drum but this will do uh Remember, front, the, the back, so many people miss this. That is safe and fire, and this is single burst full auto. You need to use your forward hand to change that. Do, 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 do. Vector bag dump! And there it goes, 40 rounds. Always fun, always fun. Good fun, good fun. So there you have it. Anywho, let's jump out of VR and talk about uh, stuff related to upcoming updates. There's going to be a, been a bit of a change of plans. Yo! So, what is going on? As I spoke about last week, this has been, this has been a very rough month for me. I've got a whole bunch of, like, health stuff going on, some life stuff, and... You know, this I've been basically just treading water most of this month, just trying to work on small things after just having just completely lost my inertia and being a little fried. And so what I have decided to do is to engage because it's been like two months now, maybe a little more since an update for the game has come out. Um, and I've worked on all these little pieces of it all over the place. Um, is that I think what I want to do is essentially do a sort of update triage where instead of trying to get everything that I have been working on into update 105 and not release anything until all of that is ready is to scope down what update 105 consists of to largely the locomotion changes, 
all the sort of guns I've put in in this time, uh, fixes, um, and um, the lo yeah the locomotion f like fixes changes and a couple of those toys, um, and just get that out so that we have an actual another sort of main branch release. I can get you folks to test those locomotion changes <laughs> to make sure I didn't uh, terribly break something in an unanticipated way let modders update their mods for those for anyone who was like touching anything in the fer movement manager i think it's actually only like one or two people who did um but yeah but to do to do that and to get that out because it's gonna take me longer to get the game planner stuff together not just because it's difficult and complex but because i am I'm fried right now. Uh, I'll just be honest about it. And I don't want to have to wait until I am no longer fried. And then weeks past that of difficult, hard work before I get anything into your folks's hands. So I would like to just get something out. So that is what I'm going to be focusing on for the next week is a little bit of triage of sort of siloing stuff that is still under production and sort of putting it to the side. So it doesn't really make it into the build, making sure that other stuff that I have changed that is most of the way there is tuned up, adding metadata for all the new sort of objects, uh, et cetera. Um, and just getting that together so that you, so that you can play with the glider and the hand copters, uh, and things like that. And uh, just to buy to buy as I hit my desk with my hand. Um, but yeah, just to buy me a little time, because I mean, you can probably tell just by how I look. I'm a little low at the moment. And just uh, I, I honestly, I just need the win of getting a functional release out. And I'm hoping that that sort of gets me in a better headspace uh, to enter the next sort of phase of this, which is which is bringing a whole bunch of the work in progress stuff for game planner together into a coherent system, um, which is probably going to be even harder than making the base pieces of it. So, so yeah, so I know it's, it's sort of like meh, in the, just in that, like it'll be longer till the scenario stuff is ready to play with, but I'm hoping you folks will enjoy just having a fresh release with some new toys um, in the near term. Uh, and I'll probably put together a, a little announcement uh, further sort of summarizing this on the actual Steam page, because I'm sure folks who follow the game don't watch the devlogs are like, what's going on at this point? So, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on. And uh, so what I'll probably do is, is assuming nothing else explodes in my life um, next week, uh, do an alpha push for what will be this smaller update 105 just to give modders a little bit of time to tweak stuff and then uh the week after that push it main branch and then probably the week after that just sleep a lot so yeah so that is the current plan uh i hope that uh works for you folks oh <sighs> so yeah anywho i hope you all have a wonderful weekend and i'll uh see y'all soon peace <laughs>